got a lamp and I want to show you the glass in this mohair. This is the range goat mohair from a kid. And usually if I kind of wrap it around my fingers a little bit and I don't know if you can see it and move it back and forth. Um, I don't know if you can see there's a very light kind of satiny sheen to it. Um, and you can also see all those little little pieces that um, are sticking out. That's because it's broken because it is just so incredibly dry. Okay, now I know I've fuzzed this up because I've been messing with it on this video, but I'm gonna pull it tight and show you the shine on, uh, if I can. the shine on this. Can you see the glass is what they call that, the luminosity, the shiny. Um, I hear a lot of people saying in Natalie's classes, Natalie, how do I make my yarns shiny? How do, how do, why do my yarns not have luminosity to them? Well, it's because, and I know Natalie has said this before, it's just what you're making your yarn out of. Mohair is not only known for its fineness, its curl, its softness, its silkiness, it's also known for its glass, its luster, its shiny, its shininess. And so if you want a shiny yarn, you're gonna have to get some mohair. Mohair is shiny.